Bill's kicked it. You won't be no magnet now. Stick your head out so I can boy? shoot you. Who were those hoods? How should I know? Okay, okay. Well, we can't hang around here wait for more of them to show up. Let's get the truck and get the hell out of here. Tom, you drive. I'll follow behind in one of the other cars. like glue. Attention!
killed? I used the steering wheel once in a while. I don't want to die. We did it! So it looks like Merlo got in the way of things again, boss. We can't seem to shake off this bad luck. Boys, you won't believe this, but it's completely the other way around. The only one who really had bad luck this time was Morello. What? I found out who our Mr. Gates really was. And? Gates was never really from Kentucky. He was a small-time thief who stole the goods from Morello and wanted to sell them to us. Morello doesn't think that he almost stopped our deal, but that we pinched a truckload of his most expensive whiskey. I bet that bastard's happy now. Unbelievable! Well, that worked out just fine. Let's drink to that. To another success, boys. Salute!
The end of Prohibition in 33. You probably weren't too happy, huh? Yeah, the end of the good old days. Yeah, not too happy, but it wasn't all bad. Eventually, I did get married to Sarah and had a daughter. It was a good time. But life went on in business. We made a huge amount of dough during Prohibition, which we invested into new deals. A lot of them were legitimate. We had regular firms like construction, transport, restaurants. We ran labor unions. And of course, there was gambling, betting, the lotteries. We actually did really well. We just tried to stay out of drugs, even if it wasn't always easy. Come on, business is business, right? You're way off there. The Cosa Nostra ain't no patties a Chinaman. With drugs comes big money and even bigger problems. When someone has a problem with the cops because of drugs, he does the sensible thing. He admits it. If his family catches him, they rub him out. Drugs are taboo. So what, there's some kind of grand poobah passing judgment? Something like that. The leading families choose a boss of bosses. They sort out the big problems and set the rules of the game. So, criminals who break the law have their own courts that judge them? <laughs> That's just great. Laws aren't changeless holy words. Every country in the world has their own. It's just somebody with a lot of power applying their own will. It depends on the person whether they'll serve someone else blindly or apply their own will. Why should the Don be restrained? The Mafia prevailed through prohibition with its own laws. A handful of poor, uneducated immigrants from Sicily were stronger than all the laws, courts, and police here in the States. That took some doing. What? With murder? With the suffering they caused? Come on. You think that the Mafia just murders innocent people? The Mafia punishes those who break laws. And the majority of your laws, too. Unfortunately, we can't put anyone in jail or fine them. Everybody who comes and works for us knows what to expect if he breaks the rules. People lie and steal, and there are lots of criminals here who get unbelievable pleasure when they steal from the mob. As well as the mafiosos who get pleasure from cheating the state. And what about all the payoffs, robberies and raids, huh? Hey, the cops ain't no saints, neither. No Don encourages his men to go around harming people. And what other people do on their own isn't our concern. And as for payoffs, most people come to the Don for help and advice on their own. And they'll pay gladly for it. The Don is an esteemed person. But not every Don is like Salieri. That's the truth. There you go. Your system works, but you know why? Because you're a bunch of selfish murderers. And you only care about your own gain. All your efforts are spent ensuring that you live like pigs in shit. That's why you're so successful. You're only looking out for yourselves. We look out after everybody. A few cops have to ensure law and order for all. And that's a much harder job. That's true. But you can easily leave the Don outside your protection. He'll watch his own back. And what about you? What are you sitting here for? Ah, Tommy. I'm glad you're here. I was afraid I'd miss you. Hey, boss. What's going on? There's something I've been looking forward to all week. I'm going to Pepe's restaurant for lunch, but my personal bodyguard has called in sick. There's nobody here who could take me, and I prefer not to go to these things alone. You'll take me, won't you? Certainly, boss. Bravo. Let's get going, then. I'm already pretty hungry. Have you got a piece on you, Tommy? Yeah, I got one. You think I'll need it? Well, <laughs> probably not. But it's better to be sure. You know how it is. We'll take my car.
Tommy, I'm really looking forward to this. Pepe is a native Sicilian, and above all, a fantastic chef. Whenever I feel like a specialty from back home, I go to him. Wait till you try his cheeses. Forget about it. Luigi's a great cook, but Pepe is a real master, a maestro. Ouch! You trying to kill me? At last, I could eat a horse. Hey, Danzarieri, welcome! Happy. You don't even know how much I'm looking forward to your specialties. Fantastic meal, Peppy. I haven't eaten that well in a long time. Molto grazie, Doc. Praise it from a gourmet like you always are making me feel it with joy. Oh, please, I'm no gourmet. If you knew what I ate for dinner yesterday, you definitely wouldn't say that. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, Adana? I have an excellent Chianti. Really? Let's get it out here then, Peppy. At once, sir. How'd you like it, Tommy? It was fantastic, boss. I'll have to bring Sarah here sometime. Ah, yes. You certainly should, Tommy. Just be careful that Sarah doesn't take offense. She cooks worse than Peppy. <laughs> What the hell is going on? This is ruining my lunch. The gorilla must have nothing better to do. They could have at least let me taste the wine, Gabo. Get this over with. 
Throw him his present, Joe. Maybe we'll smoke him out. Working for you is real interesting, boss. What'd you say? My ears are ringing from that blast. Yes, boss. It looks like we won't get out this way. Try and run around the back of them. While I keep them entertained. Yes, boss. Be careful. Don't get me pissed.
I have to say, you got balls, Tommy. You saved my ass. You weren't so bad yourself, boss. Christ, that was crazy. Thank God Pepe hit. Poor guy. I'll have to send him some dough for repairs. We should. Boss, I'd like to know how they knew where we were. You think they followed us? I don't think so, Tommy. I have a feeling I know who set me up. Who? Carlo, my bodyguard. That goddamn son of a bitch. He's the only one who knew where I was going. And he also excused himself from work today. He knew very well what was gonna happen. That sounds pretty likely. Yeah, I think so. I'll tear him apart like a ragdoll. Carlo lives in a rented house in Little Italy, a little way from our bar. There's a pizzeria downstairs. We're going. Trying to kill me? Watch the road. I thought you knew how to drive. Oh! You trying to kill me?
you trying to kill me? Carlo, yo bastard! We're coming for you! Let's do it, Tom. Break down the door, bust in there and kill the bastard. Ah! He's run down the fire escape, Tommy! Get him! No! For the love of God, don't do it! No, please spare me! Shut up, lady, or you're next. Kill that bastard, Tom! Don't be an idiot! Shoot the bastard! Don't waste your time with him! He's shit! You know what, boss? What? That's the first time I knocked someone off in their underpants. It's nothing. First time for me, too. There's a first time for everything. Well, who do we have here? How are you, Sergio? Staying out of trouble? I see you got a new punching bag. Well, the gentleman here thinks that the financing of our labor union ain't fair. And he wants to strike. I've always said a strike is a bad thing. Real bad. Unless, of course, it's organized by my dear brother for a higher goal. You won't get away with this. The boys will show you. I think you're overestimating their bravery. You cockroach. I didn't come for this discussion, unfortunately. We'd like to introduce you to some of our principles about labor unions in this free country of ours. Carry on, boys! What's the reason for your coming, brother? Salieri is alive. What? How could he survive? I'm afraid in the current situation Bastard. we can't ask him. Burn it and there is nobody else who could tell us what happened. Our guys are dead and the customers at the restaurant are dead. And that sneak Carlo is as well. Could you please shut up? We're trying to talk here! Go to That's hell! There's no way to talk to Mr. Morello! Bum! God, he should have been there alone. How could that old man kill so many of our guys? He's as old as me, so I wouldn't say that. But he probably wasn't there alone. I think he'll be planning how to get rid of us right now. What shall we do? I will try to figure out something. Anyway, be careful. Now his best guys will be after us. So, we're really at war? We have been for a long time already. But now, more than ever before. Take good care of yourself, brother. Boss! It looks like he's had enough. What do you want us to do with him? I don't know. Finish him off and dump him in the ocean. Tommy, that assassination attempt means that Morello has openly declared war on us. We have to deal with him. 
If Morello didn't have accomplices with the politicians and other important city organizations, our forces would be nearly equal. If we liquidate those people, our opponent will be a lot weaker. That's exactly what we gotta do. Eliminate his strong contacts. Right. And as we all know, an all-out war must be avoided. Get the generals. Then the soldiers will give up without a fight. So this is what we'll do. We'll finish them off one by one. What do you mean exactly? The first in line is the city councilor who's caused us so much trouble. Morello got him into politics and that makes him a big supporter. We'll take care of him after the boy, and I mean today. The councilor is celebrating his birthday and has decided to throw a huge shindig. He's having it on a steamboat with fireworks and the whole nine, and he'll be making a speech to the paparazzi. There'll be a lot of people there who won't do dick against us when they see what happens to him. It sounds pretty risky. But well worth the risk. Vincenzo knows the plan. Okay. As I said, it's on a steamboat. It won't be easy to get in without an invite, but I know you can do it, Tom. Above all, try not to raise suspicions before we reach our goal. Of course, you won't get a weapon past the security, but I've dealt with that already. As soon as you get on deck, go to one of the men's rooms. There'll be a small revolver hidden there. Afterwards, just wait outside a while. The counselor will probably be hiding in his cabin, but he'll be out for the start of the celebration and his speech. That's your big shot. During the speech, you're gonna pop him, Tom. It's got to be in public, and this speech is the best opportunity. There'll be a big crowd there, so you can blend in with it once this thing is all done. And then what? I'd like to get back to shore in one piece. Afterwards, it'll be nuts. There'll be some security guards on a boat, and you should be able to get past them in the chaos. If not, get to the bow, and Pauly will pull up in a boat and bring you back safely. So what, Tommy? It won't be a picnic, but you should pull it off. Okay. I'll do it. The boat is anchored on the waterfront on Central Island. You better get going or you'll miss it. Keep an eye on the time. Buona fortuna, Tom.